What's up, guys? I'm the Wise Matthew, and I'm back with another video for your judgment. <laughs> but, uh, guys, I'm back, and uh, I have got a great video for you. I hope you all are liking this commentary I'm doing. Um, it's not going to be permanent. This is a temporary thing, but um, if you guys like it, uh, let me know in the comments, or like my videos, give a thumbs up. Uh, that lets me know that I should continue to do this and follow through with this idea. Because, um, you know, I like to have my fingers a little bit of everything, so um, just let me know, guys. So anyway, uh, today on the video, I have an amazing list for you. This is my top games, top mobile games of 2012 that I liked. Um, this is an awesome list, so I'm just going to go ahead and get into it without uh, further ado. Here we go. So, number one is a game that probably won't be any surprise. It's called Osmos HD. I know a lot of you probably heard about this. Um, it costs $2.99 in the Google Play Store. I know that seems like a lot for an app. Um, there's also a free version, I believe, that you could play, but just do yourself a favor and buy it. For $2.99, you will have this game. This will be one of those games where no matter what device you get, you're always going to carry it with you. Like, it's always going to be on your device in case you ever want to play it. It's just amazing. And uh, a quick description of this game, if you don't know, if you've never played it. Osmos HD is basically you're an orb that uh, you're trying to do the snowball effect where uh, it's kind of like a game called Katamari Dimashe, like back on PlayStation. I don't know if you guys have played that, but if you haven't, it's definitely like a snowball effect where it just keeps collecting things, like other orbs, and it gets bigger and bigger, and you accumulate a huge mass, and that's how you take over um, all of the other orbs and level and win. Um, also, you want to avoid some of the bad orbs that are there, which um, it can get pretty crazy, but this game shines in creativity and style, and the soundtrack is amazing. I mean, I, you know, you'll probably feel very relaxed when you play this game. It's very, um, it's very like tranquil and just uh, stress relieving. I don't know. You could you could literally play this game without actually playing the game. You could just listen to the soundtrack and not even touch the screen. It's that good. So Osmos HD, guys, check it out, please. Number two, I'm moving right along. Get through these. Keep this video short. So number two um, is called Running Crowd, and it's free. It's a, a online multiplayer, uh, multi-platform game, which means you can play people on the iPhone, iOS, the Mac desktop, the PC desktop, Android, Linux, and you can actually it'll tell you um, uh, who you're playing. And all you're gonna do is just basically the platform game. You just run and jump, and uh, you'll see all the other people on the, on the uh, screen, and you're gonna try to uh, last longer than they will. So that's Running Crowd. It's a fun game. It's very black and white style, cool style to it. Check it out, guys. Okay, number three is called Radiant Defense. And a lot of you are like, what? Did he ever review that? Yes, I did review this um, a while ago. This is like uh, one of the first apps I reviewed um, in the start of 2012, actually, if you want to go back and check. Um, this is a free game, and it's a strategy game. Um, it's brought to you by a company, uh, I can't remember the name of them, right that. Uh, they also did a game called Robotech that I did like last year, so check that game out too, Robotech. It's also free. Um, this Radiant Defense, though, it's a strategy game, and it's just got a cool, uh, like a neon light style to it, and uh, it's, it's just a very solid game. So if you like um, like uh, Robo Defense, that's another uh, really old, good game. Um, if you like Robo Defense, you'll like this game because it's very strategic, and you have to place certain weapons um, in order to stop these kind of weird neon creatures from uh, getting to this endpoint or this portal in the game. So it's really cool. It's Radiant Fence. It's free on Google Play right now. Number four uh, is an app that uh, is actually like a pretty new app. I just recently reviewed this. Uh, Granny Smith or Granny Smith Apples. Uh, that's what always comes to my mind when I think of that name. Um, it's a uh, dollar ninety-nine, and uh, there is no free version. But uh, this game is cool. It's funny. It's so funny, guys. Uh, you're a granny, and essentially you're going to compete with this um, little kid. Or younger child, and uh, you're just gonna use your. Uh, you got a cane. Um, you have ant apples. You can throw at the kid. And you're gonna basically race. So it's gonna be you and this kid, and you race these levels. You jump over houses. You go through houses. You like. Um, you uh, like uh, attach your cane to like uh, the wires and strings, and just do these weird little uh, slides and uh, loop to loops, 360s in the air. It's just crazy. And meanwhile, you're on roller, roller skates. I don't understand where that came from, but man, it is a fun game. The graphics are top notch. Um, it's not anything hardcore. It's very simple, straightforward game to learn and play. Very fun to pick up and play. See how far you can get, and that's another game just like Osmos, where you're probably going to have that on any device you have. I guarantee you guys. 
Okay, so my number five and final game uh, that I loved of 2012. This is probably for more hardcore people, um, but this is called Dead Trigger, and there's a lot of first-person shooters out there for uh, mobile things right now, mobile platforms, but uh, this game is free, Dead Trigger on the Google Play right now, and uh, basically it's a zombie shooting game, so anybody likes zombies, you're really going to love this game. The graphics are just amazing, and when it came out, it was um, it was one of those games where it was the, the cutting edge, the bleeding edge of what mobile uh, gaming can do. Um, and I think they're kind of actually going to come out with a second one coming up pretty soon. So, uh, Dead Trigger, and this game is one of those games where it should be paid. I mean, it should be a paid game, but it's, they're letting you do it for free, and uh, it's kind of like Black Ret Retribution, where, um, you know, it's free to get in, but then, of course, you got to pay to get more perks. So, uh, that's my five top games of 2012, guys, and uh, I'm going to have another video for my non-game apps. So be on the lookout for that, and I hope I kept this short enough for you guys and you enjoyed uh, my commentary and the video. So once again, please let me know in the likes and comments, guys, because I'm trying this new thing out and see if the format works. So um, I'm going to continue to work on uh, making this better for you guys, and I uh, hope you're enjoying it until I figure things out. Thanks for sticking around, you guys.